All right, everybody, I wanted to give you my thoughts on these ready shade pleated paper blinds for your house. We ordered the 48 by 72 inch six pack, which comes packaged in a box just like this. So once you pull it out of the box, this is what you're gonna have. This is the 48 inch by 72, like I said, and it's literally just made of paper. Uh, these are the easiest blinds to install in the history of blinds, okay? So this is basically what you're looking at, right? It's just a pleated blind and they do look pretty nice and they do filter some light, but they still allow enough light to come through that they don't completely block everything out. Now, I've got one here that I've already cut just so that I can demonstrate with this one and not mess up one of the other ones, right? So what you're gonna wanna do, go up to your window, measure your window, mark it out how long you need this blind. I'm using just a cheap pair of scissors here and you can kind of squeeze where you need it to be, right? Now they recommend that you do this with a razor knife, but you gotta have a backing pad and all that. So I figured I would try it with some scissors. Now, these are not strong scissors. They're just a cheap kind of a craft scissor that you can get from Walmart or something like that. And you work your way through it, and as you can see, that just pops off. Now, I'm gonna walk around here so that I can show you this. Make sure this is good on screen. Right here, there is a sort of a sticky pad type of material, right? And you can scratch that, pull that sticky pad material off, and you'll stick it underneath the sash to the blind, get it nice, good, and stuck under there. And there you go. It just sticks on to the window sash, whatever you're trying to do. It's actually pretty sticky. And if we just go ahead and take the stickiness off of this one right quick. There we go, we'll peel that off. I'll actually turn the camera just a bit to go onto that window there. We're still unpacking, so disregard all of that. You come over to the window, introduce it to the window, stick it nice and firm on the top. Now, ours hasn't been sticking very well because of our paint choice. That is our problem, but there you go. So that one is stuck to the window and that's kind of how it works. Now, obviously this is not correct for this window, but you get the idea. Overall, I think that this is a very, very good product and thumbs up.